Hello everyone, I am Interact. This is Slay the Spire. Welcome back to a game that I cannot seem to beat because I am not very good. Remove a card from your deck. Enemies have 1 HP. Can we get to an elite? Probably not. Is card removal that important right now? Probably not. I think we'll just take these three and hope this shop has something really good. Hit the E key and win. Leap is good. Leap is good. Leap is solid. Leap is completely fine. Eh, I mean, cool headed is really medium. But I'll take it. Hey, fruit juice. First time I've seen one of those. Sunder, I think, is pretty good. It's Give me the fruit juice. I would have loved to have been able to pick that up. Sadly, we don't have the money. Could pick up Tempest. Could just remove a... Defend, because we have Leap. Hmm. I think we're just going to remove... Maybe it was even better to remove a Strike there. Oh, okay. So we can also remove a strike. Neat. So yeah, I mean, the last run we had the meatballs. I don't know that we... I think that the problem was we had the meatballs, but I don't think we had any spaghetti. And, you know, spaghetti without meatballs, I mean, one... Or meatballs without spaghetti. You're just eating, like, weird little bad sausage hamburger things. Why would you do that? You know, meatballs are supposed to go with the spaghetti. We missed the spaghetti. What is the spaghetti? I Skim? I have no idea. Um, Got an upgrade, an upgrade, an upgrade, an upgrade. Okay, I think we're going to use this to remove a card. Because there's many upgrades along this path. So I don't think we're too worried about that. I think we just want to make dual cast free for now. I think uh, upgrading cool headed is pretty important as well. Courier, very nice. Because it, drawing two is way better than drawing one. It's like double the amount of drawing. Pay to remove another card from my deck? And we're getting in thin deck daddy territory right now, boys. Deck getting real thin. Alright, drink it. Boom. He's done it. The absolute madman. So hopefully being vulnerable doesn't actually do anything, and it doesn't because Sunder is there. Loop. I, I'm going to take a defrag. And I might even upgrade the defragment. So we have like a pretty good... You know what? Give me a relic, man. Give me some relics. Give me a zap, please. Ooh, defrag and a zap. Nice. And he's going to wake up anyways because of the defrag, so we'll we'll bop him awake with a little bit of extra damage there. Leap. We're gonna take some damage ourselves before we actually get to this boss fight, but uh you know. Oh well. Um yeah, dual casting that seems okay. Having Focus with uh, Frost Orbs is actually, like, really good. Because Frost Orbs by themselves, without focus, seem really, really bad. And if you've ever thought to yourself, man, these Frost Orbs, they don't seem very good. Two block per turn? That's pretty bad. It's because it is. <laughs> it's because it is pretty bad. Okay, so they changed this. This used to be, uh... Rewind or something? Gain 13 block, return, retain your hand this turn. So this is like a really strong block and then you get to keep your hand. I assume you still draw extra, let's take it. I assume you still draw. Does upgrading this upgrade reduce the cost? It does not. 16 block, that makes it two defense worth. We could upgrade our strikes, we do a little bit more damage. Let's upgrade Equilibrium. 
So it's a it's a new car that they've added. I haven't messed around with it at all. We'll see if it's any good. Um, you see, like right here, I guess it's okay. I might as well drink this. I guess it's okay because it keeps a leap, but I almost wanted to just strike instead. Now let's see what we get: sunder and equilibrium. Huh. It's a little problematic. Because I don't have the energy to do it. Darn. <sighs> oh well. And Sunder, of course, is uh, showing exactly why it's not the uh, the best card in the world against bosses. Retain. I mean, I think that retaining my hand is good. It seems good. I probably should have dual casted that actually. So we're taking. We already have eleven. I mean, we could just equilibrium, but we're over drawing at that point. So let's dual cast first. We might still be over drawing. Alright, so hold on here. Equilibrium, that's 20. So I can fit in a strike here. I mean, I'm pretty sold on Equilibrium. Yeah. No, this actually seems like... Really good. Especially in a deck this small. So he's dealing 20, so we need a little bit more block. It act no, yeah, it actually seems like... Like, look at that. Like, I get to keep all these cards. Which means I get to keep this leap, for, you know, if I need it. But I don't need it right now, so I can just, you know, instead... Do all these other things. I may actually not even want to keep my hand anymore. I think I just want to hit him with a big old Sunder hit. But Equilibrium was kind of carrying us there. In a really weird way. Oh my goodness, those dogs. I apologize. There, I guess I've turned the mic settings to a place where they don't actually show up very much, but I'm still very sorry if you can hear them. They bother me a lot. Here, I think we can... So Cool Headed, that's 7 block, right? So Leap is actually more. Although Equilibrium... Equilibrium? I've learned, forgotten how to speak. Yeah, no, I, I think I can get behind Equilibrium. When I first saw it, I was like, okay, I mean, that's kind of cute, I guess. Retain your hand. Sure. Another fruit juice? Aren't these things supposed to be rare? I mean, Hyper Beam, dude. It's We've got the defrag to counteract it, sort of. Kind of. Um, All for one. We're already kind of retaining our hands. We're gonna need an energy relic. Okay, I mean, Sozu is an energy relic. Because we have a lot of twos now. So being able to play like a Hyper Beam and an Equilibrium in one turn would be nice. We got the 12. We are, we are thin, like two ends deck daddy right now. The thinnest of the decks. These fruit juices are actually super nice. So, give me a cool head. Cool my head off a little bit, you know? Splash some water on my face. Beautiful right there. That's, man, Sunder. Woo! Sunder is something else when you're not fighting bosses, man. It is something else entirely. Yeah, so, I mean, Hyper Beam is a weird card. Because when you use Hyper Beam, you almost, like, don't want... Um, there's Sunder again. You almost don't want to have orb stuff. Oh, new art for that. I think we do maybe need some damage. So that seems fine. We do not have Juzu Bracelet, that was the last time. 
What you got for me, buddy? You got no chill? I mean, reboot new artwork, by the way. Um, oh, Birdface turn if we were going powers or not. Reboot, I mean, is it's it's reboot. Like, I don't think I need to say anything else, do I? I'm almost curious if we remove another card from our deck. Like, if we're hyper beaming to win, I think right now our problem is our deck is awful against bosses. Like, hyper beam, sunder are our main damage dealers, right? These are both phenomenally amazing at clearing out, like, mobs of enemies. But bosses? No. Bosses we are really weak against. So what would make us better against bosses like darkness? Although darkness kind of, yeah, you know. I'll leave for now. Molten egg. That's nice. Okay, another defrag. It does kind of help counteract the, the hyper beam to an extent. I think I'll take that. I wish I could have picked up Finesse as well, just because it's a really good card. But oh well. Let's take a question mark. Gain 5 max HP. Sure. Okay, this, this is going to be the test right here, because this fight's a real big pain. And we don't have any defensive cards. That's not very nice. Okay, so... We do this, then if we draw Hyper Beam next turn, he's dead. <sighs> Come on, Lightning. You didn't have to do that. There is no Hyper Beam in this hand. Not yet, at least. There is, there is no Hyper Beam in this hand. Well, this is a little awkward. So if we defend Equilibrium, that's enough block. Actually, I think just Equilibrium was enough. I forgot about my Frost Orb. We're going to get netted, so we're not going to be able to use our Hyper Beam here. But we did retain our defense cards. Do we want to reboot and hope to draw Equilibrium? I think we do. Wow. We just rebooted into an even worse hand. It's not often you play Time Twister and feel really bad about it. Okay, now we can just kind of go to town. Man, where am I? Where's the card draw? Do I have card draw? I don't think I do have card draw. No, I need card draw. Give him a good old beaming. And then he's dead to lightning orbs. Yeah, I guess reboot. Ooh, unceasing top. Fairy in a bottle. I really hate the fact that I have Sozu right now. There's skim to be card draw. But do I really need the card draw without any way to get extra energy? I don't think I do. I feel like rebound might be okay. Like rebound hyper beam to kind of just chew through things, right? Deal 32 damage to all enemies. Yeah, sure. Let's upgrade that. Should I have rested? Probably. Am I going to worry about it? Absolutely not. Do I want to fight an elite? I don't have a choice. Oh, I was kind of hoping this would be a heal. Hyperbeam? Okay. That is not Hyperbeam, but it is enough to block this damage, so... I'd actually need a rebound Hyperbeam here, I think. Alright, so hopefully you hit one of them. Oh. That actually did more damage than I was expecting. Oops. 22 block. Oh, yeah, okay. 
Hey, the lightning knew which one to hit. So I th think we can just, yeah, we can just sunder this guy. Boink. And then just kill him. Almost. Almost! Another rebound, capacitor, barrage, eh. Oh boy, here comes the real test. Um... Yeah, give me something better than that, please. Oh god, even that's not great. I guess equilibrium. Not, not enough yet. Defrag. Mm -hmm. I could rebound Hyperbeam to do a lot of damage. But I'm taking a lot of damage if I do that. So I think I'd rather not. I'm gonna zap. I think I'm gonna rebound this leap. So I have it for next turn because I know he's going to be hitting hard next turn. And then I think we're actually just going to continue to do that. Hold on, do we want to gain more block? We have 15 right now, he's hitting for 21. We have 20 right now. Hmm. Just give wounds. I don't know if I want wounds in my deck. Eh, whatever. We need to do damage. If we're just sitting here being all defensive all the time, we're never going to do enough damage to kill him. What you got for me? Hyper beam? Hyper beam. So I think Hyper Beam will pretty much kill him next turn. Oh, dual cast first. Don't be dumb about it. Come on now. Frozen egg. Now if only we could find some some uh, it's the meatball. It's the meatball. I think we want claw. Over the meatball. Question card. Okay. Well, it's kind of open for Hyper Beam. Hey, there we go. I should have dual cast it before I Hyper Beamed. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Ah, uh, no, I did unceasing top. Ah! I knew I had it too. I knew that I had it. I remembered that I had it. I knew I was playing around it, but I'm just an idiot. I'm just an idiot. Beam Cell might actually be okay since we're doing most star damage through attacks right now. Give me a better hand. That's that's pretty good actually. It's actually not a half bad start. Eleven. So equilibrium. I mean, I I should have just. I don't know why I didn't use the strike there. I don't really have a reason. I don't really have a reason. Self repair might actually be really good, considering how much damage we're taking here. Although we could pick up a hologram. I'm gonna take self-repair. Going up against the champ with 40 HP, huh? Well. I don't think we're rebooting this turn. Actually, apparently it was a bad idea to rebound that leap. I forgot that he... Actually, I don't know that he has a set pattern. I think he just picks things to do. If I remember correctly.
He just kind of does stuff. We don't have any defensive cards right now. It's actually pretty bad. I mean, I guess we have Frost Orbs, but if we Hyper Beam, the Frost Orbs are going to become useless. Hmm. I, like, I can't even zap, so I guess I'm just going to Equilibrium to keep this hand. Okay, so that's free. Uh, dual cast, pretty easy. I mean, like, maybe I just don't even want to use Hyper Beam at all on bosses. You know? And, like, I guess Sunder exists for a reason in the deck. Like, maybe I can use it as just a big damage spell if I don't have anything else to do on my turn. I almost want to reboot this hand. Put up a defend first and then reboot. Okay, there's a leap. So we're, we're all good. We've got enough defense here. Oops. Make sure you do things in the right order. It's cool headed to channel that frost orb. Rebound in equilibrium. Seems okay. I mean, I'd like to get the damage in with rebound, and I might as well use equilibrium. I guess I could have used zap there. There wasn't a reason not to. Like, this seems like a decent turn to just Sunder. Because he's not doing anything, right? So it's just 48 damage. You know? Hyper Beam has the downside, Sunder doesn't, so... That's a lot of damage, right there. Um... Okay, so if we... Oh, oh no, I... <laughs> May have just screwed myself out of the victory. Um... I wanted to rebound the leap. I meant to click off of that. So if I was I was gonna rebound leap and then cool headed to draw leap again. I mean I guess I'll just rebound my cool headed. And then ball lightning triggers this, which gives us a little bit more defense, but we're still in not a very good position. And by that I mean I'm dead. Damn it, I if I hadn't misplayed that leap, I think I could have actually beaten the boss. Man, that deck was actually decent, too. It could have used a little bit more. Actually, kind of a lot more. But still, it was, it was decent, you know? It wasn't terrible. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. Oh, well. Thank you for watching. Hyperbeam was pretty good. Got a newfound respect for it, so that's nice. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like, subscribe for more in the future, and I will see you in the next episode once my game stops freezing. Goodbye.